What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Oak Tree Football Channel and today I'll be making my predictions for the college football playoff. The playoff was introduced a few years ago. Uh, if four teams of course make it, um, it doesn't matter what conference you're in. Uh, normally it's, it's, all, it's always been power five teams but uh, it, it can be any amount of teams from whatever conference. Uh, it's just whatever four teams are the highest ranked. So today I'll make my predictions for who I believe will make it to the college football playoff who, and who will go on to win the national championship game. I'll give two teams that I think will be close and then I'll give my teams that I think will make it and the team that I believe will win. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, starting with the teams that I'm just missing. Uh, so I'm doing six and five here just because these are the two teams that I think will just miss the playoff that I think have a chance to make it. Um, but just because of their schedule or some games I have them losing, uh, I don't think they're going to make it in. So at number six, currently I have Penn State. Uh, Penn State looks like they could be a very good team to me. Honestly, based on the roster, I could say they're maybe top four, top four team in college football. The problem is their schedule. Uh, they have to play Ohio State, which Ohio State is one of the best teams in college football. They are at home for that game, though. And then they have to play at Michigan, which is going to be tough. They are better than Michigan, but they have to play on the road. If they can beat Ohio State and even lose one more game for the rest of the season, I, I think they'll make it to the playoff. If they beat Ohio State, I think they'll make it to the playoff unless they lose, like, three games. Uh, if they beat Ohio State, I, I think they can make it to the playoff. Uh, the problem is, though, that they are in the same division as Ohio State, which is just so unfortunate because that division has Penn State and Ohio State, two of the best teams in college football, and in the same division. So uh, I, I think that Penn State will lose against Ohio State, which of course will give Ohio State the uh, spot in the conference championship, uh, which means Penn State won't get an opportunity in the conference championship. If they had a conference championship this year, I would probably put them in the playoff. Um, if they were in a different conference and they were able to make the championship, they would probably be on here. But j just because of um, just because they they don't have they can't go to a conference championship unless they beat Ohio State, who's one of the best teams in college football. I just really can't see can't see them them going to the playoff. Uh, if I'm honest, they have a very good roster though. On their offense, their offense is pretty underrated actually. Uh, you got Sean Clifford at the quarterback. He could actually be very good this season. Journey Brown's the running back has a lot of potential. I think he's very underrated in my opinion. Um, and then at the tight end, they have Pat Fryermuth. Fryermuth is one of the best tight ends in college football. In my opinion, he is the best. But you can make an argument that he isn't the best. But I do think he is up there. Um, the, uh, the one problem with Penn State's offense is they really don't have a game changer at wide receiver. Uh, KJ Hamler went to the NFL draft, so they don't have him anymore. Um, uh, but on the defense, their defense is really good. Got Micah Parsons, one of the best linebackers in the country. So Penn State could be good. I just don't have them going in because uh, of the game against Ohio State. I don't think they'll win, and they won't go to a championship, and that's why I have a number six. On to number five, and this one might surprise some people, and I was really considering, should I put them in the playoff or at number five? It's Alabama. I know a lot of people think Alabama will make the playoff, and that is 100% a possibility. They definitely have the roster to do it. I just think that it's going to be tough because currently uh, I think they're going to lose to Georgia twice, once uh, in week three and then once in the conference championship. If they can beat Georgia once, if they, they only need to beat Georgia once in my opinion. If they can beat Georgia either in week three or they will probably play in the conference championship. So if they beat Georgia in the conference championship, I think they'll be in the playoff. Sure, it'll probably be at the third or fourth spot, but without a doubt, they will would be in the playoff. I just currently have them losing uh, against Georgia twice, and I really just can't see uh, a two a two loss team making it in over uh, the team I have at fourth, uh, which is a one loss team. I can't see a two loss team making it in over a three uh, a one loss team. I know it's possible. I just don't think it'll happen. Uh, but like I said, Alabama has the roster to be this good. Uh, their quarterbacks, Mag Jones, will most likely be the starter, but maybe later in the year Bryce Young comes in. I think that's a possibility. He could definitely be a good quarterback. They have Najee Harris as the running back. 
he is very, very good running back. He he could be very good this year. And then they have two fantastic wide receivers, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith. They are they are losing Henry Ruggs um, and Jerry Judy, but they still have Jalen Waddle and Devonta Smith to replace him. And then their defense is great. Dylan Moses is coming back from a season-ending injury last year. And then they have Patrick Sertain Jr., who's one of the best cornerbacks in the country. So I could see Alabama being fourth, third, maybe even second. I don't think they'll be first, but I, I could see them making the playoff. I think it's going to be tough. Like I said, if they can beat Georgia once, they will be in the playoff, in my opinion. But if they can't, which is what I think right now, I don't think they will be. So that is why I have them at number five. So moving on to who I believe will make the playoff, starting off with the fourth position. At number four, going to the Rose Bowl, I have Oregon. Oregon, in my opinion, is not the fourth best team in college football at all. I think Penn State and Alabama are both better than Oregon. But, Oregon has a pretty easy schedule. Their only real tough game is, of course, against Ohio State. They'll probably lose that game, even though they're at home. I think they will lose. But then, their only the only real games I could see them losing for the rest of the season uh, is Cal, USC, and Arizona State. But those shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Uh, Oregon, of course, plays in the Pac-12, which means their opponents aren't as good. Maybe they'll drop one they shouldn't, like last year. But I think that they will. I think that they will be able to win these games. Uh, Tyler Show, uh, I don't know how he's going to work out. I, I'm not sure if he's going to be great. Uh, running back C.J. Verdell. So I, I think that their offense isn't going to be great this year. Maybe their defense can be good. It's, they're going to be an interesting team to watch. Um, I think they will win the conference championship. And that's why I have them at number four. And like I said, I have their only loss being against Ohio State. Uh, and that game is in week two, which means that they get to build up a nice long win streak going in uh, to the conference championship. And if they win the conference championship, I feel like the committee uh, will want to put them in because they are coming off a long streak uh, of wins. So that that's just my that's just my thought process on that one. Like I said, don't think Oregon is the fourth best team in college football. I think there will be struggles. I know some people are a lot lower on them than I am. Uh, I don't even think they're going to be that great. I just think it's how the schedule is set up. I just think that it will be enough for them, and they will be able to make it uh, to the playoff. Uh, I, I think it's just going to be luck, if I'm honest. Uh, sure, they are still a very good team. I don't think there's any question about that, but I, I really just think it's going to be kind of lucky for them to get this fourth position. Moving on to the number three spot to go to the All-State Sugar Bowl, I have Georgia, an SEC team. Like I said, I expect Georgia to beat Bama twice, and that's why I have him. That I that's why I have them here. I could see Georgia going unbeaten this season. I could all see him losing to Bama once. Maybe they lose to Florida, but uh, currently I think they'll go undefeated. If they lose, if they lose to Bama in the conference championship or in week three, I still think they will be in the playoff. They might just be at number four, but. Um, the only reason I could see them missing the playoff is if they lose two games. But they have such a good team. Uh, their quarterback is very, very interesting, their quarterback position. They brought in two big transfers. They brought in Jamie Newman from Wake Forest. Uh, this one, he will most likely be the starter. He looked really good. And it looks like for a long time he was set to become like the starter. Everyone was kind of sure that he was going to be the starter. And then a few days ago, Georgia brought in JT Daniels, which is really surprising. JT Daniels, of course, was at USC, but... Uh, uh, was taken over by Keaton Slovis, who is now USC's quarterback. So it was very interesting that uh, they, they 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 made that move. I still believe uh, Jamie Newman will be the starter for this year. I, f I feel like JT Daniels is for the future because Jamie Newman will probably go to the NFL draft after this year. But it's interesting. Uh, they are uh, losing DeAndre Swift. They do not have a great running back. Georgia normally has a very good running back. Not this year. Uh, sure, that can be improved on. Uh, I think that they will be able to run the ball more as the season goes on. But uh, to start the season, not that great of a running game. At the wide receiver position, they have George Pickens. That's a guy I really like. I think he can have a breakout season this year. If, JB, if Jamie Newman, I'm very high on Jamie Newman. If, please ha if he plays how I expect him to, I expect George Pickens to be his favorite target. So I think it's going to be a big year for him. And then their defense can be one of the best in college football. Uh, Aziz, o uh, Aziz Oshilari is one of the most underrated. Uh, I believe he plays outside linebacker. He's so underrated in my opinion. Then they got in the secondary, they got Eric Stokes at cornerback and Richard LeCount at, at safety. So it's a very good defense. Their offense... Uh, 
can, can be pretty good too. So Georgia's just a team to look out for in my opinion, uh, and that's why I have my number three. I, maybe they can go to number two, um, but right now I have my number three. Moving on to number two, at number two I have Clemson. Now originally I did have Clemson at number one, but um, after the injury of Justin Ross, I, I think they'll go down second. I still think they'll go undefeated, even though Justin Ross got injured uh, and will miss the full season, if you did not know. He is out for the year. I still think Clemson will go undefeated. I just think that they'll have some more closer games. Uh, like, maybe in the championship, it's it's going to be closer than some people might expect. Uh, they'll probably play North Carolina, in my opinion. Uh, I think North Carolina versus Clemson will be the ACC championship. But they, just, they have some tough games that, like, it's not tough for them, but against teams that could be pretty good. Maybe now that because of this, those games will be closer. Uh, I still expect Clemson to go undefeated. Like I said, I just feel like the loss of Justin Ross is going to hurt. So we're probably going to see a lot more running the ball from Travis Etienne. And this is really having me consider, will Trevor Lawrence still win the Heisman? Uh, because he is losing Justin Ross now. Um, their number one receiver is Amari Rogers, who Amari Rogers isn't a bad receiver, but he isn't uh, necessarily great either. Of course, they lost T. Higgins as well, so some receivers are going to need to step up for them. Uh, Travis Etienne, though, the running back, he can be fantastic. He has 40-something touchdowns in the last two seasons, which is just insane. He should have another big year. Uh, and then the real tough the tough part on their defense, uh, Isaiah Simmons is gone. Their defense is pretty good for the most part, but uh, that linebacker position where tra uh, sorry Isaiah Simmons played, it's a bit worrying that he's gone. I still think they'll be good, but that's just a bit worrying to me. But they shouldn't really have any too tough games. Maybe some games will be a bit closer than we expect, but I still think Clemson will go undefeated this year. And moving on to the number one spot, I have Ohio State. Like I said, I did originally have Clemson at one, but because uh, Justin Ross got hurt, I, I moved up Ohio State to number one. They definitely are a fantastic team. They just do have a few tough games against Oregon, against Penn State, two teams I think could be very good this year. But I believe they will win those games and go unbeaten. Even even if they lose to Penn State, I think that they will be in the playoff no matter what. Uh, maybe if they lose to Penn State and Oregon, maybe they'll miss then because both those are road games. But I just think that we will see Ohio State in the playoffs. Uh, Justin Fields will probably be the front runner for the Heisman now that uh, Justin Ross is injured. Uh, they have Chris Olave, the receiver. He's a very, very good receiver. Uh, and the running game wasn't looking great, but a few weeks or months ago, uh, Trey Sermon transferred to them, which is just perfect. They have Master Teague as the backup as well. Their defense does need some help, but it's still pretty good. So Ohio State is just a great team all around. They have some tough games, but I think they will win them and become the number one team, especially if they win those if they win those tough games. I think they will be number one. Um, so... This is my top four. Now I will predict who will win each game. Starting it off with the Rose Bowl, which of course is number one Ohio State versus number uh, four Oregon. This is actually a rematch of week two. Uh, this would be a rematch of week two when these teams will play in Oregon. Uh, my prediction is that Ohio State will win that game, and I predict Ohio State to win this one as well. Ohio State is just too good of a football team, especially compared to Oregon. Uh, I, I, like I said, I don't think Oregon is the fourth best team in college football. Maybe if the spot was occupied by Penn State or Alabama, it would be a closer game. But just because it's Oregon, I really don't see there being much of a challenge for Ohio State. I'm taking Ohio State. And then we got Clemson versus Georgia. This game was really tough for me to predict. A few a few weeks ago, 100% it would have been Clemson. But after the injury to Justin Ross, it's, it's a lot... It's a lot harder to predict. I still think Clemson's the better team, and even though Georgia's a good team, I do feel that it will be Clemson. I could see it being Georgia. I just think that Clemson is too good, even without uh, even without Justin Ross. I just think they're too good. So I have Ohio State versus Clemson, national final, and now I will predict who I believe will win. This is pretty early, so I might make another prediction, but this is my current prediction. And in my opinion, the team that will win this year's national championship I have Ohio State. Um, Ohio State lost to Clemson last year in the um, in the semifinal, so it's kind of a redemption game for them. Uh, and Clemson also lost in the final, so both teams are determined to win, and I think that Ohio State will win just because I feel like they're a bit more determined. Obviously, Clemson will be determined, but I just feel like Ohio State, you know, losing to Clemson last year, they'll be determined. Originally, I had Clemson winning this, but like I said, because of the loss of Justin Ross, I think it will be Ohio State. Uh, the I I think that Justin Ross loss will hurt, 
but it, it, it's not going to hurt their undefeated season until the national championship. So I predict Ohio State to be the undefeated champions of college football this year. So that is my prediction for the, this year's college football playoff. It's going to be fun. This is going to be one of the best seasons in college football this year, in my opinion, if it does happen, which I think it will. I, I do believe that we will have a college football season. I think it can be one of the best uh, we've ever seen. You know, so many teams that can seriously be competing. Uh, LSU can be in the mix again. Oklahoma can be in the mix. Florida could be a dark horse team. So many teams that, that could be up there as one of the best teams and near the playoff. And it's it's definitely so entertaining. Uh, this is really why I love college football. Um, but those are my thoughts on this year's college football playoff. What are your guys' thoughts? Tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a like. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe for more daily NFL and college football content. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.